My name is Robin Goldberg, for those of you who don't know me. Um, I'm a nutritionist with my own company, Robin Goldberg Nutrition Wellness. I also have a cookbook called Hidden Veggies. Um, really great recipes, all with hidden veggies in them. Really good for that picky eater, or just anyone looking to get in some extra veggies into their diet. Um, today I thought I would go through a cooking demonstration, and although this is not a hidden veggie, it's sort of a way of having veggies uh, sort of masked and look like something different. So what we're going to make is some cauliflower rice, fried rice, with some shrimp. And you can do any sort of protein you like. You can put chicken, you can put tofu, um, but today I decided I'm going to do some shrimp. Um, so we're going to get started. So first we are going to start by chopping up our onion. So, cut off the top and the bottom, and then cut it in half. And this way you can easily just peel off that top layer where the skin is. And throw it aside, I need to get out my trash bowl. All right, so we're gonna chop up the onion. And just it doesn't have to be like super precise. You can chop it up really, just, you know, small pieces. Doesn't have to be perfect. And so let me get this going while we get everything else. And this is actually, I'm doing this with some meal prep. So this is a great recipe to make. You can actually keep it in the fridge and store it for the week and have it for lunch or dinners all the week. So I'm using olive oil. We're going to put a little olive oil into our wok and turn off the heat. And we're just going to go ahead and add the onions in there and let those cook a little bit, saute until they can get a little golden, get soft. Put it in and let those cook. So while those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my uh, bell pepper. You can use any kind of pepper, any color pepper you want. Here's my trash bowl. It just makes things a lot easier to put everything in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and chop our bell pepper. So I like to do the same thing. I cut off the top. And then you can easily go around the core. Get all the seeds in here. Um, I found these bell peppers there, you can see them, but they're kind of like the red-orange color. Um, just happened to be what my grocery store had uh, when I was shopping yesterday, so whatever you find is great. Bell peppers, um, if you don't know, have a lot of vitamin C, so they actually are one of the highest amounts, fruits, vegetables, and vegetables that have the highest amounts of vitamin C. And vitamin C really is really great for us. You really need it. Um, it's really good when you know, it's kind of stressed out. Um, some an interesting fact is when we actually are stressed, our body uses up a lot of vitamin C. Um, so we can often be depleted of it. So it's very important to make sure that we're getting a lot of vitamin C into our diets. So bell peppers is a really, really great way to do that. So I'm just going to chop up this bit of bell pepper. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And put this to the side a little bit. And then we're also going to chop up our carrot. And you can add any sort of vegetable you like into your uh, fried rice. You can add broccoli, zucchini would be a really great addition. Um, I actually love using the already frozen cauliflower rice, and I found the one that had peas already in it. I was going to add tea separately, but now I don't need to, um, which is great. So I'm just going to use that one that has the peas in there. So that would be another really great thing to add into your dry rice. So what I also love about this is that it's pretty easy and nothing else to be exact. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add a carrot then because I want those to get nice and sauteed. Everything's looking nice, starting to get brown. Well, 
garlic is going in. I chop up my garlic and ginger because that's going to go in pretty soon. So we're using three cloves of garlic. I like to use fresh garlic, but you can use the jarred garlic if you prefer. You use the jarred about three teaspoons or so. So we chop up our garlic. And then we're also going to add in ginger, fresh ginger. Again, you can use the jars. Um, I prefer the fresh of these kind of ingredients, any kind of recipes. Um, just has a little fresher flavor. Um, but I know everybody doesn't love using fresh ginger. Peeling it can be annoying. So totally get it. Use the jars um, if you prefer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add in the garlic. And we'll go ahead and put in the bell peppers. Put everything in there. A little so they don't burn. All right, so now we're going to do the ginger. So this is the trick with the ginger. Take a spoon and just scrape the skin right off. See how easy this is coming off? Look at that. See how easy that skin just came right off? Throw the skin in there. a little bit more. I like ginger, so I'm going to use a little more. All right. And then it'll be really easy to just grate it using a microplane here. I'm just going to grate the ginger. Smells delicious. All right. So now we have about a tablespoon of fresh ginger. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Get everything nice and mixed in here. All the onions are looking nice and brown. Everything's being cooked. Let the aroma of the ginger and garlic kind of cook away a little bit. Everything nice and mixed, and we want that to start cooking. 
And it's fine, the frozen, you can use the frozen to put straight, cook it straight in. You don't have to defrost it first or anything like that. I just cook it straight into the pan. And see, this is a really great thing to make for your family. Um, everybody loves fried rice, who doesn't? It's super easy. But look at all these vegetables that we have in here. And we're still gonna add some mushrooms too. And again, add whatever you like, add whatever your family likes. Um, put some zucchini would be really good in here. Eggplant broccoli, anything you like would be a great add into this. And this is basically just a bunch of vegetables and then we're gonna add some protein on top. So a really, really great thing to make for your family and it looks like rice and everybody thinks it's rice and honestly, it tastes pretty much like rice. So this is a really great, I'm not gonna say hidden veggie because they're pretty much right there in front of you, um, but kind of hidden because it looks like rice and we can tend to think it's rice. So while that's cooking, we need it to cook for a little bit. We're gonna prep the shrimp. Um, I bought fresh shrimp, but you can do frozen shrimp. That's totally fine too. Um, sometimes I make this and I use frozen shrimp just because I keep frozen shrimp in my freezer um, just to make things easy. But I have fresh shrimp here and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, peel it. It's already been deveined, which is great. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it peeled so we're ready to be able to add that in when we're ready. Um, peeling shrimp is actually like really easy, especially if you get it deveined. Um, you just kind of squeeze the tail and the peel comes right off. So I can get up a little closer. You kind of just go around. You just squeeze the tail like that and the whole shell just comes right off. It's really easy. Peel some shrimp, so we're just gonna go ahead and get these ready. And then we still also, so we have our shrimp weed add in, we have our mushrooms add in, and then we are going to scramble some egg in it because, you know, good fried rice always has some good egg in there. And it gave you some additional protein. But you can make this vegan and not use the egg, not use the shrimp, just put some tofu in there. But these rec recipes like these, you can really get creative and do what you like, kind of make however, whatever you prefer. They're sort of, that's a great thing about cooking in particular is that it's totally up to you and nothing is an exact science when it comes to cooking baking different, but when it comes to just cooking with food like this, it's really up to you. You want to add a little bit extra soy sauce, add a little extra. Um, you know, you want some different vegetables in there, add whatever you like. I mean, it's, it's all totally up to you. Um, you can also add steak into this, um, any sort of fish you like. It's really fun and versatile, and that also makes it fun to be able to mix it up every time you make it. Use different vegetables next time. Use a different protein next time. Um, so it's that, that's the really other great thing about this dish, is that you can, once you get the hang of it, once you do it that first time and see how easy this is to make, you can make this multiple times doing it so many different ways. Um, so the only thing about using, well, it gets both, but using the, the frozen rice is you need to let the, the water, the liquid sort of, cook out a little bit so it takes a little bit longer with the frozen but the fresh cauliflower you know you also want it to cook too so give it both a couple of minutes not too terribly long but just a couple of minutes all right so now we've got all of our shrimp peeled i'm gonna wash my hands It smells great. I know you can't smell it, but it smells great. I promise. <laughs> cook a little bit longer um, and again this is also something that's totally up to your discretion I like mine to be like a little bit brown um, which it will continue to do as we need to cook it but I want to get a little bit brown right now all right so our shrimp is ready I'm just going to season it a little bit with some salt and pepper um, just to add a little bit of flavor to the shrimp before we cook it Let's, let's go with, 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 with 
pepper. Salt. And for those of you who don't know, this trash bowl is such a big help for quick cleaning up after you're done. Also, it kind of helps keep your station nice and clean, but <coughs> super helpful. Just like when I'm done, this is so easy to throw all this in the garbage and put everything away. It's super easy cleanup. So I love a, using a garbage bowl when I'm cooking. This is starting to look good. Now it's starting to bubble a little bit, I'm trying to get that liquid sort of cooked out before we add in um, the next thing, which we will cook our shrimp in here. And then to our uh, sauces, to make our sauce. So I'm using coconut aminos. Um, you can use soy sauce. It's pretty much, it's like the, um, the other version of soy sauce. The soy sauce, the alternative to soy sauce is what I mean. Um, it is made with uh, coconut nectar. Um, and has a lot less sodium. So the sodium is only 490 milligrams, which soy sauce is a lot more sodium. So coconut meat aminos is a great alternative to soy sauce. However, you could definitely use soy sauce. There's no reason why you can't. This is what I have, and this is what I prefer to use. Um, so we're gonna use coconut aminos. We're gonna use some fish sauce, which again, if you are trying to make this vegan, you don't have to use the fish sauce. Um, I just like it adds a little, a little nice kick, and then a little sesame oil. And then to make it like give it a little kick, I can add some crushed red pepper. Um, so that's it. Like that's super simple. Not a ton of ingredients. Very easy. And for those of you who used to go to those you know, Japanese restaurants when you were a kid or even now, because I know a lot of people still love them and they're still delicious, I still love them. Um, you know, when they cook the fried rice in front of you, it's pretty easy, right? Delicious. I mean, always turns out so good and it seems so simple. So this is how you can do it at home. Make something super easy and super simple. All right, so what I'm going to do is while the this still continues to cook out, we're gonna start cooking the shrimp. Um, I like to make everything in one pan. I don't think there's any reason why I need to use a different pan. It's all going to go together. We do need all this liquid to cook out, so that's going to continue to cook before we start adding our sauce, because if we go ahead and start adding our sauce, it's going to get watered down. But we can go ahead and start adding in our shrimp. So I'm really just going to dump all the shrimp in, get them washed my hands, and just kind of spread it out. Shrimp is actually pretty easy to cook, pretty quick. It takes about two minutes per side. And you know what's the easiest thing about shrimp is that you know when it's cooked because it turns pink. So that's why shrimp is sort of like an easy, no fail ingredient. You can overcook it, it will get chewy. Um, so, you know, watch it if you're not used to cooking shrimp. Um, but it's a really easy ingredient to cook because it changes colors when it's ready and it's right there. So we let it cook for about two minutes per side and then we're going to flip it over and get two minutes on the other side and then we'll mix it all in together and we will add our mushrooms and we'll mix all of that in and then we'll add our sauces and then the last minute we will scramble the eggs inside. Um, Promise it's delicious. This is super easy, super quick. As you can see, we're, you know, probably 10 minutes away from being done. We've only been cooking for about 20 minutes. So this is a good 30 minute meal. And I'm making a bigger portion because I want it to be for a few days for the week. Um, you can definitely, you know, half this amount and make less, but that's why I think one of the greatest things about meal prepping is so like this is a 30 minute meal that can last throughout the week. So you cook for one day, you know, cook on a Sunday afternoon and you have meals, this is about, this is about four meals. So you're set for a lot of the week, which is so great. So nice to be able to have you done and not have to continue to stress about it. And this is like super easy. All right, so they're starting to turn pink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip all the shrimp over and get them cooked on the other side. And we're gonna like undercook it just a little bit because it's gonna stay in the pan. So we're just gonna let it cook just like maybe like one minute and then mix everything together. 
because they'll continue to cook as it's in here. I want to cook it in here with when we add the sauce, just so it gets flavor all the way through everything. So I don't know if you can see how pink, how nice and pink these are turning out. They look really delicious. All right, we'll flip them all over. We'll give it about maybe like 30 seconds or so. And then we're gonna mix everything together. It's probably a good time. All right, we're gonna mix it all in because the shrimp will keep cooking in here and I don't want it to become chewy and overcooked. All right, look at that. It's starting to look great. And I'm gonna add in the mushrooms. Again, an optional item, use whatever you want. Use whatever kind of mushrooms you want. Another easy, lazy tip I use, went ahead and just bought the pre-chopped mushrooms. Um, just save time, makes it easier. All right, we're gonna get this started for a minute and then we'll go ahead and add the sauce and let everything cook together. These mushrooms will cook for a little bit. Look how nice this is all coming out. Great, easy family meal. I think once the liquid's pretty much cooked out, which I think it is, looks like it is, we'll get our sauce prepared. Let this cook a little before we pour it in. All right. We have the juice of a lime. Just roll it out to make sure we release all the juices. We want about two tablespoons of lime juice. So if you have a juicy lime, that could just be one lime. Um, a little bit of a drier lime, that might be two. So whatever you have. Okay. Yep. Right. And I don't normally always measure um, the sauce, but for this purpose today, we will measure sort of, maybe add a little bit extra, but we'll measure a little bit. So just so you can sort of see about how much of everything is in there. All right, so let's give it a look at those there a little. All right. Looks and smells delicious. You know, I think I'm going to actually add a little bit more peas to this. I feel like I want a little more pop of color in there. The peas from my pot with flour rice um, were good, but not as much as I was hoping was something in there. So I'm going to add a little bit more peas just because I like to mix it up with all different colors, add a little bit of everything. And again, thankfully, I have frozen peas in the freezer. Something else I love to keep around. And you can add, again, you can add all these things at any point. It's going to get me to cook. I mean, all of these things are cooked. Um, just need to face a little bit frost and cook a little bit more in this pan. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some more frozen peas just because, again, I like that little extra pop of color in here. just want to get everything. We've got the red and the peppers and the orange and the carrots. Um, so I just like to have a little green in there, too. Again, like I mentioned, use whatever you like. And the nice thing is, like I did, you decided, I want something else. You can add it in now. Not a problem. All right, this is looking delicious. The mushrooms look to be getting cooked. So the peas basically just have to defrost. So as long as they're in this pan for a couple of minutes, they'll be fine. Those didn't really need a lot of time. So now we are going to add the sauce and let it all kind of simmer and cook in here all nice together and get all nice and flavorful. So 
we have three tablespoons of the coconut or the soy sauce, whatever you prefer. Again, I don't normally measure, but I'm doing it for the purpose that you can see about how much. And I may do a little extra because I think my cauliflower rice, I did a little bit more and I have a lot of veggies in here. So, again, it's kind of like a, t a, test, a trial and error, test it out. I'm gonna do four tablespoons of coconut amino. So I think it needs a little bit more. It's a big cut. Okay, we need the lime juice. It's a pretty juicy lime, so I'm just gonna start with one. And then we'll see how that goes. Um, a teaspoon of fish sauce. adds like a really nice little sesame flavor. Um, don't be scared of the fact that it's an oil and it's really not, not, you're not using that much of it, it just adds a nice flavor. And then we're gonna add some red pepper flakes to give it a little bit of a kick. Again, this is a completely optional uh, part because it just depends on if you like a little kick. Um, just use a little bit if you just want like that little bit of flavor and don't want too much spice, and use more if you want to be a little spicier. So we're gonna mix it all up and then we're gonna let it kind of simmer a little bit. So everything gets the flavor nice and cooked through. And then at the end, we're gonna crack that egg. And scramble the egg inside. Just gonna be just like a good, delicious, into the fried rice. coconut aminos is that they're not as salty as soy sauce so you may have to test it and see if you need to add in a little salt um, that is the one thing I would add is maybe add a little salt and pepper um, if you're using the coconut aminos so if you're using the soy sauce you might have to check it um, because soy sauce is a lot saltier but coconut aminos is actually not very salty um, so you may have to add a little salt in which is what I just did Again, because I've made this before and I know the flavor, I knew it needed a little salt, but you might want to test it first, take a little bite and see what you think. All right. Now, I mean, tell, you got to tell me, this looks just like a delicious fried rice. And I don't think that your family or your kids would notice that that's cauliflower and not actually rice. So kind of a hidden veggie, so it goes a very long with the theme. If you are interested in my cookbook, you can find it on Amazon. The book is called Hidden Veggies, Recipes Even the Pickiest Eaters Will Love. Um, it's also on my website, which is robingoldbergnutrition.com. So you can get it either one. Um, lots of really delicious recipes in there, sweet and savory stuff. Um, so check it out on my website or find it on Amazon. Um, also, follow me on social media. I like to post a lot of recipes on social media. Um, some that are hit veggies, some that are just healthy. Most of the recipes I make and post are pretty healthy recipes. So definitely follow me, check it out. Um, and I'll try to continue posting these cooking videos because I think it's always helpful to be able to see the video and sort of watch how you're doing it. Um, tutorials, I think, are always helpful especially if you're more novice in the kitchen, even even not. I still like to look up the videos and I've been cooking for a while. Um, I like to look up the videos and see how things are done. So I think they're super helpful. If you think they're helpful, please 
you know, leave a comment, let me know. Um, if there are recipes that you want me to make, please let me know. Um, so I think these are fun. I think, I hope for you that they are helpful. Um, all right, so everything's looking pretty good. Everything's nice and mixed. Our peas have already defrosted and are cooked. Our mushrooms look great. So what I'm going to do, this is gonna be kind of Japanese style, restaurant style. Make a little hole right here. Got my fork. We're going to crack two eggs right in the middle. right here, right in the middle. You don't have to do this. You can do the egg separately if you want. You can just add it in. Um, but this pan is big, and again, I don't like dirtying too many pans, so I want to make it as easy as possible for myself, so I'm doing it all together in one, one pan. Easy cleanup. Um, but if you are making, like, you know, some people don't like eggs, you can make it separately. Again, it's an optional part of the recipe, so you don't even have to add the egg at all. So we're gonna get it, start getting it, start getting it scrambled and then we'll just mix it in. And then this recipe is basically done. Looking good. Just kind of slowly adding in the, the rice in with it. Now we can use another spoon. So I don't scrape the bottom of the pan too much. This cook for as long as you want. Um, if you want to get a little crispy on the bottom, if you like a sort of like a um, hot pot style with a little crispy rice, let it cook a little bit longer. So again, this what's so great about this recipe, it's totally flexible and to your style. All right, so I'm just gonna mix the egg and then we're gonna let the whole thing cook a little bit to make sure the egg is nice and cooked. mine to be like a little bit crispy so I might let it cook for another couple of minutes and then it's done super easy just a little over 30 minutes but the great thing is now you have either dinner for the whole family or for a couple of nights depending on how much you make Helping your family is. But super, super easy, chock full of vegetables. I mean, look at how healthy and delicious. And normally, I think when we think fried rice, you know, we think that it's an unhealthy meal, more of an indulgent meal. Um, but this is super, super healthy, so many vegetables, some nice shrimp in here, and then just easy, a little bit, not even a lot. You saw it wasn't even very much of the coconut amino, aminos, fish sauce. And a little bit of sesame oil. That's that's it. So easy. This is something you can feel good about feeding your family. And they don't even know how healthy this is for them. All right, look at that. Nice and done. We've got our egg bits in here. Our mushrooms have cooked. The peppers are cooked. The peas have defrosted, we've got carrots. Everything is delicious and ready to go. So that is it. That is our very easy cauliflower rice, fried rice with shrimp. Um, great meal for the whole family, great meal for meal prep. I highly recommend you trying this. Um, and again, make it your own. And if you do make it, if you make it differently, let me know. Leave me some comments and let me know.
um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, this cooking demo. Um, again, love the feedback. If there's things that you want me to make, please let me know. Um, you want me to talk more about the nutrition of things in the future, let me know. Um, but this is a really, really great, easy, easy, one pan, simple cleanup uh, meal to make for any weeknight, any weekend for the whole family. So again, I'm Robin Goldberg, Robin Goldberg Nutrition and Wellness. So you can check out my cookbook again on Amazon or find it on my website, RobinGoldbergNutrition.com or follow me on Instagram, which is at Robin Goldberg Nutrition. Thanks for watching.